Good afternoon. I'd like to call the Ways and Means Committee meeting to order, please. Philip Stock in the chair. Let's stand for the pledge to the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Stocken. Present. Mr. Fanton. Mr. Curran. Mr. Decker. Mr. Havey. Here. Mr. Healy. Here. Mrs. Hopkins. Here. Mrs. Rue. Here. Mr. Crandall. Here. Six members present. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, approval of the minutes from July 21st. Could I have a motion, please? Mrs. Root. Is there support? Mr. Fanton? Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Approval of the audit is on your desk and was emailed to you. Could I have a motion? Mr. Fanton, Mr. Healy, seconds? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Uh, clerk of the board has uh, insurance checks you would like us to accept. Sorry about that. Um, this was for a 2020 excavator um, that was damaged when a bird's nest inside caught on fire on June 16th. Are there any questions? Make a motion to approve. Mrs. Hopkins, second Mr. Healy. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Budinger, would you like to speak to your request, please, or your correction? That's something we have to take action on. We have a motion to approve this, please. Mrs. Root, second Mr. Havey. Are there any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? That's carried. Thank you, sir. Uh, County Administrator has several items for us. All right. The first one, I believe, is a request to accept and appropriate CDBG funds. We have a motion, Mr. Fanton. Mr. Havey, support. Are there questions? This is for a total. This one's a total of five hundred dollars. This is right? five hundred thousand dollars. It's uh, something that we've we've done in the past. It's with Cattaraugus Community Action Agency, and this is for replacement of manufactured housing. Um, it does help eligible Allegheny County residents, including the elderly, disabled, and veterans. And we've done this before. If I could just comment that in the years that I've been here, often when this one comes up. There's questions raised about the efficiency of the money because it's a lot of money and a lot of mobile homes don't get attended to. Uh, my personal feeling is if we get free money and we only get one or two fixed, that's one or two that were not fixed before. And so it's good to take advantage of these, even if local people could use that money more efficiently. Anyhow, any other discussion or comments? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Next one. The next one is we received some correspondence from Cattaraugus County where they were considering a resolution um, supporting the preservation of the New York State 23rd <laughs> Congressional District. And I believe this board may want to consider a similar resolution so that we are, are matching efforts with Cattaraugus County to preserve this uh, district. This is a great, great thing to be doing, in my opinion. but. Uh, don't want you to fight over who gets to make this motion. Mr. Havey, and support? Mrs. Root. Okay, are there any questions? Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Mr. Harris. Um, 
there's been conversation via email about uh, extending something like this on intercounty, and that's been asked of intercounty by Senator Borello as well. The issue with this resolution, which I'm in favor of, um, is that it's specific to the 23rd Congressional District. Is there any way that we can ask either the county administrator or the county attorney to draft a, say, a sister resolution that's maybe a little bit more generalized in terms of maintaining existing congressional districts within Western New York? Because that's really the only way I'm going to be able to send this to intercounty is if it's broader than it's written here. I think I'll, I'll let the county attorney address what the the time frame for his office would be to do something like that. But I, I think it's a resolution you're certainly capable of passing. Um, but I don't know if you have enough time to come off the floor today. Thank you very much. Just a question. The other counties in inner county to are they generally in favor of the status quo? Do you have any idea? It's my impression, it's a guess though, but a majority of our delegates come from rural areas. We do have representation from Monroe County, but other than that, there aren't any large urban uh, centers represented well on inner county. And so I would imagine that most rural delegates are concerned about maintaining their autonomy from more heavily democratic urban centers. You don't know if there's any that are tied to urban centers that they'd like to get rid of, be untied? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. I'd have to look at the congressional districts. But I think uh, I think Erie County does, their their congressional district does gobble up some of the neighboring counties like Gen Genesee and parts of Wyoming, Ontario. If, if we're happy with the resolution as it is, we could always pass it since we had planned to take it off the floor because it was timely, and then inter-county could amend it to make it more generic. It would take significant amendments, but that would be a way to get it through this month. Yeah, thanks. Any other questions? Mr. Dibble? Uh, under that resolution, the first resolve, change the cat to Allegheny County. I, I think that's all been changed, Mr. Dibble. That was just the correspondence we received yeah. from Cataraugus County. I, I think guess. there's been edits since then. Yeah. Other questions? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. The third one? The third one is a request to, um, for resolution that amends a previous resolution. Back in 2018, we drafted our first Title VI plan, and uh, in some re reviews with uh, New York State DOT and the Federal Transit Authority, we've uh, <coughs> learned that we really should be revising this again. So this resolution is seeking to revise the Title VI plan and we'll also be making a change. Back in 2018, we had named uh, Mr. Budinger in the personnel office as the coordinator. That was when he was deputy county administrator. He's no longer deputy county administrator, and this is really not a personnel matter, so we'll be naming the county administrator as this. And this is uh, Title VI of the Civil Rights Act. This prohibits discrimination. It's required in all of our, our contracts. We should be looking at revising this anyways. I have a motion, please. Mr. Fanton, second Mrs. Hopkins. Other questions? Points of discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Uh, referrals from committees. The first one, Human Services. Mrs. Hopkins? Yes, thank you, Mr. Stockin. Mm -hmm. Community Services Director Dr. Robert Anderson is requesting the following 2021 budget adjustment to accept additional state aid in the amount of $7,000 from the New York State Office of Mental Health. Again, that uh, amount is $7,000, and I'll move that. Moved by Mrs. Hopkins, second Mrs. Root. Are there questions? Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Next. Public Health Director Tyler Shaw is requesting permission to transfer funds in the amount of $3,391 within the uh, A4189 Bioterrorism Preparedness Public Health Emergency Preparedness account. These uh, funds were originally budgeted for billboard advertising but have been um, reprovisioned and will be utilized to purchase equipment and supplies necessary for COVID-19 
and other emergency response activities. Uh, these purchases have been approved by the state and will be 100% grant funded. And the amount is, again, $3,391, and I'll move that. Is there support? Mr. Healy? Other questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Okay. Number, number three. Number three. Office of the Aging Director, Anita Madison, is requesting permission to apply for the Regional Alzheimer's Disease Caregiver, Caregiver Support Initiative, a grant with the Alzheimer's Association of Western New York. This is a continuation of the grant from 2016, uh, and uh, it is a regional uh, collaborative effort in, with the Western New York counties, and um, it provides support to caregivers of individuals with Alzheimer's disease and other dementia through care consultations, support groups, education, and training, respite, and other services. The amount is $124,000, and it has been included in the 2022 budget, and I'll move that. Motion, Mrs. Hopkins. Is there support? Mrs. Root? Are there any questions? Comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Number four. Ms. Madison is requesting permission to approve an addendum to the current agreement with Good Times of Olean for cost adjustment per meal due to the unprecedented increase in supply and demand for food during the COVID-19 pandemic. The increase would be in effect for August uh, 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2021. Uh, the, current com the current contracted um, compensated rate, rate um, for the period um, of this same time is uh, $4.75 per meal. The adjustment would be a compensated rate of $5.40 per meal, which represents a $0.65 cent, uh, increase per meal. Um, I would move that. Motion has been made. Is there support? Mr. Havey, are there any questions? Mr. Fanton. Yeah, um, <clears throat> prices go up and prices go down. The reason we're doing this increase is because prices have gone up. Um, is there any way we'll be able to look at that when, uh, when prices go back down again? Is there any kind of language that allows us to do that? Off the top of my head, I can't recall. I'll have to look that up and get back to you quickly on that. Mr. Chair? Yes, ma'am. This is only until the end of this current year. Um, there will be a new contract, um, yeah. I believe, for the, the next year. So we'll be looking at that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Other questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Number five. Social Services Commissioner Edna Kays is requesting a resolution for a budget transfer from Social Services Cooperative Agreement Appropriation Account, point four, to Social Services Payroll Appropriation Account, point one, to cover the expense of three departmental attorneys. This transfer is necessary as they change from the contracted attorney to hiring them as an employee. The projected salaries have been estimated for September through December 2021, for the following new positions based on the current funding available in the DSS budget. The uh, requested budget amount is $83,000 uh, and it is distributed into regular pay, holiday pay, and sick pay. And I'll move that. There, oh, I should say there is no additional county cost and no change in the reimbursement structure of state and federal aid. Motion Mrs. Hopkins to support. Mr. Havey, are there questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Number six. Ms. Kays is requesting a resolution for reappropriation of grant money not spent in the 2020 overlapping grant fiscal year. The original resolution approved the CARES Act uh, Emergency Solutions Grant on, uh, and that is resolution number 183-20 uh, from our legislature. The grant was to begin in April 2020, but the contract was not approved until March 2021. Uh, the appropriation is uh, a total of $196,279, uh, and I would move that. Motion, Mrs. Hopkins. Support, Mrs. Root. Are there questions? 
your comments. See none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Number seven. And finally, Ms. Kays is requesting a resolution to accept an appropriate uh, additional federal aid for the Department of Social Services CARES Act Emergency Solutions Grant uh, allocation. The funds uh, that should be appropriated um, are $227,582, and that is also the revenue, and I will uh, uh, move that. It's been moved. Is there support? Mr. Panton. And now, are there any questions? Comments? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Thank you, Mrs. Hopkins. Thank Personnel you. Committee, Mr. Havey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Board of Elections Commissioners McCormick and Reynolds are requesting a resolution accepting and appropriating funds from the New York State Board of Elections 2021 Technology, Innovation, and Election Resource Grant. The funds should be appropriated to A1456, Board of Elections Technology and Innovation Resource. Um, it is uh, $40,000. Uh, Six hundred and twenty-one dollars, and I will move that. It's been moved. Is there support, Mrs. Hopkins? Any questions or comments? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Next, number two. Mr. McCormick and Mr. Reynolds are requesting a resolution accepting and appropriating funds from the New York State Board of Elections 2021 Early Voting Expansion. Grant program. The funds should be appropriated to A1455, and they are in the amount of $17,173.21. And I will move that. Move Mr. Havey, support Mr. Healy. Are there questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Number three. Personnel Officer Bobby Budinger is requesting a resolution to transfer funds in the amount of $380 to cover the purchase of computer equipment. The transfer is as follows. From HR fees to equipment, the amount is $380. And I will move that. Is there support? Mr. Healy supports. Are there any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Thank you, sir. Public Safety Committee, Chairman Healy. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, the first uh, item we have under Public Safety is County Administrator Chris Knapp is requesting a resolution to approve an agreement with the Allegheny County Telecommunications Development Corporation and the Southern Tier West Regional Planning and Development Board for the purpose of installing and upgrading radios on the county's radio system to provide access to broadband internet for last mile providers who in turn provide broadband internet service to the general public. Uh, the upgrade uh, radio upgrade uh, is a the radio upgrade is a project facilitated by a partnership between Allegheny County, ACTDC and STWRPDB. The radio upgrade replaces the county's current 3.65 gigahertz antennas with 2.5 gigahertz LTE antennas. The uh, uh, 3.65 gigahertz antennas are obsolete and were recently phased out by the Federal Communications Service as managed by the ACTDC uh, to continue service to the public. Uh, the upgraded radios were secured by uh, uh, the STWRPDB through a grant from the Appalachian Regional Commission, a partnership for opportunity and workforce economic revolution. So this is uh, grant funded and there's no cost to the county and there's an attached MOE uh, that explains this uh, completely. So I'll move that. Moved by Mr. Healy, support Mrs. Root. This would be a great improvement. Are there comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Number two, sir. Number two, Public Defender Barb Kelly is requesting permission to fill one full-time public defender 
non-union position due to her upcoming retirement. Uh, this position is required to be appointed by the board pursuant to local law number 2-1974. Additionally, pursuant to article 18B, the county is required to adopt a plan for representation of the indigent and persons financially unable to afford counsel in certain matters. Such plan was last modified by resolution number 8104 and was named Allegheny County, um, which named the Allegheny County Public Defender as the primary counsel for this plan. The annual salary of this position is $116,000 and $640 with benefits estimated at $43,617.75. This is uh, anticipated also not to be of any cost to the county as funding is available from outside sources. And there's an attached RFP in this matter which uh, fully explains everything further. And I'll move that. And moved, Mr. Healy, support. Mr. Havey, are there any questions, comments? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Thank you, sir. Public Works, Mr. Fanton. Can you hit your button, Mr. Fan? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, the position is, is responsible for immediate supervision over a highway crew, including HMEOs and MEOs. The annual salary of this position is estimated between forty-one thousand and fifty-six thousand, with benefits estimated between sixteen thousand and twenty-two thousand. Position is funded a hundred percent with county funds, and it is to fill a vacancy. And I will move it. Moved by Mr. Fanton, <coughs> supported by Mr. Healy. Are there questions, <coughs> comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Next. Mr. Henry is requesting permission to fill one full-time building maintenance assistant, grade 13, and all subsequent positions, including hiring from the outside. This position is responsible for the performance of semi-skilled building maintenance and repair tasks such as masonry, carpentry, electrical, and or painting operations. The annual salary of this position is estimated between 37,000 and 45,000 with benefits estimated between 14,000 and 17,000. The position is funded 100% with county funds and it's to fill a vacancy and I will move it. Moved by Mr. Fanton, is there support? Mr. Havey, are there any questions for this one? Comments? Yes, Mrs. Hopkins. I believe, um, sorry, I believe in this one there is a figure missing in the total of 37,065.25. There must be another number. Probably so. <laughs> Do we have that number or not? not, we'll trust the uh, county administrator to get it. Pardon? Six. Six sixty-five. Thank you. So, okay. Other questions? Keen observations. So, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Mr. Last one. Mr. Henry is requesting a resolution to transfer funds within the county road fund in the amount of 8,000 to purchase a generator for bridge maintenance. The transfer is as follows uh, from general fund supplies to maintenance tools, $8,000 and I will move it. Moved, is there support? Mrs. Root, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Are there any other referrals come to this committee today? Okay, uh, my agenda says we need an executive session, attorney client session. Is that correct? And it's 
timely to do it now and then come back because there's something else to do. Correct. So. Okay, so could I have a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Uh, and second, Mr. Healy. You get the motion. Sorry, I was looking down. Uh, do we have to announce which one this is or is client attorney enough? Okay. Well, so we're now in an executive session for attorney client.